Yesterday we saw that the angel of the Lord, actually Jesus, is asking God, actually God the Father, a question. So let's tune in today and hear that. Uh, hear how that goes. That'll be verses chapter 1, verses 13 to 15. And the Lord answered the angel who talked with me with good and comforting words. So the angel who spoke with me said to me, Proclaim, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am zealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with great zeal. I am exceedingly angry with the nations at ease. For I was a little angry, and they helped, but with evil intent. So remember what we read before. God said he was angry with his people for their disobedience, but it says he's exceedingly angry with the nations. And the nations have gone too far. They've gone beyond what he called for. The New King James says they helped with evil intent, but the, the Net Bible says they have only made things worse for themselves. And then the, the King James Version, I kind of like the King James best on this one, they helped forward the affliction. So God's people got into trouble, they're getting some judgment, but now the nations that God used to chastise them, they've gone way beyond what God intended. And so now God is going to address and deal with them. Some people have this view of God as kind of a cold, dispassionate, calculating, uh, super intelligence. And yet he's, he says he's angry, he says he's very angry. And so, you know, God, uh, we shouldn't have that view. God cares. God, God is, has emotion. You and I, we are designed with, we have emotion. And so that shouldn't be a view of God we have, that he's, he's some kind of a computer or something. He is, uh, just because you're smart doesn't mean you're, you're dispassionate, that you have no feelings. God is super smart, and he has all these feelings, strong feelings about, about the creatures that he made. Of course he does. We are made in his image, and so he designed us to know the difference between right and wrong. We should have strong feelings of wrongness when we do wrong, or right about something's right when we do right. That's the way we're designed. That's not unnatural, it's, it's in the design. God is not okay with evil. Remember that uh, these devils, God is just allowing this to go on just long enough so that you can get this finished and solved. Uh, Evil is temporary. Free will is forever. He never is going to take away our free will. He gave us the free will so we could be like him, so we could choose, choosing between good and evil. And so he's looking today for people to be part of that team, part of the team that's going to change the universe from selfishness to unselfishness. The devil and all the universe, it's the devil he's limited here to planet Earth. This is his only, uh, this is the junkyard he gets to dwell in. He's a junkyard dog in a messed up world. And God is fixing it. That's why he sent Jesus. So Jesus is going to finish. He's calling you and I to be part of the plan. What are we going to do? That's the question. Are we going to be part of the team, part of the solution, or part of the problem? And he will give us all the help we need to be part of the solution. May God bless you today as you are part of the solution. Mm -hmm.